All right, welcome to our our NCAA College Hoops Dynasty season mode that we're doing. As you see, we're using the Louisville Cardinals for this year. And I wanted to really do a series that really focused around college basketball. With the return of college basketball coming back this year, you know, back around the season, you know, I wanted to do a series for the channel, you know, focus around that. Now, I've uploaded, like, a lot of the teams and stuff like that, as you'll see, as I'll, I'll point out to But, you know, I'm from Kentucky, so, uh, you know, I got to represent for the Cardinals here in the city and stuff like that. So, you know, I wanted to, to really do something, you know. That really, that really hits home, hits to home. Now, when we look at the roster, like this is our best players throughout. I've updated the roster, so everybody that's starting is starting. Our star player is going to be Jordan Wara. You know, we got Dwayne Sutton, Samuel Williamson, and Lamar Kimball, Malik Williams, David Johnson. Like literally, I'm telling you, everybody's here. Everybody's here. Look through the staff. They got the staff. That's Coach Chris Mack. And didn't look like him at all, but that's not the point. So if I go to the league standings, you can literally see like all the teams that I have in this roster. We got Villanova, Clemson, Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, Duke, Florida, VCU, St. Francis, Marquette, Syracuse, Harvard, Memphis, Georgia, Xavier, Cincinnati, and LSU. But we got a few other names in the Western Conference. We got the Oregon Ducks, Iowa, Baylor Bears, Gonzaga. Like there's a whole bunch of teams in this in this uh, season that we're doing. I wasn't able to get everybody, but I did get a lot. And right now what I'm doing, I'm just gonna set up a practice for the team to go through. Really trying to focus on, you know, improving the team since we do have one season to get to get, to get get it together and basically see if we can win a national championship. I'm finishing up the practice week here and all I'm really doing is making sure we got a rest day before the big game against Texas, Texas Tech you know, to start off the season. Now, if you look at the standings here, you know, you can see the starting lineup on the, to the right side. We got Kimball at point guard, Samuel Williamson at shooting guard, Dwayne Sutton starting at small forward, Jordan War at power forward, and Malik Williams. That's, that's the starting lineup, lineup that I'm gonna go up with. It looks like Texas Tech best player is Holyfield, which is their power forward. And I think I'm gonna start off the first game you know, using the red jerseys, I was thinking about, you know, maybe I might go black, but, you know, I'm thinking red is the, how we do it. Let's get it. Fresh. And the 
All right, everybody, we got the Louisville Cardinals taking on the Texas Tech Red Raiders in the season opener. Really trying to see if we can start off with a win here. You know, we're away right now, you know, but it's going to be okay. Now let's take a look at Louisville's opening lineup. They've got Dub, Williamson out there with Fresh, and it's the natural, and it's Williams at the five, roaming the paint. Clark is out there with T, then it's T, then it's Mr. Clutch, and it's Ramsey in at the two. Opening day, Chris, in your experience, uh, which types of teams tend to start the season well? Started two types. One, the team that has been here we go, and the, the Texas Tech Red Raiders take the tip off here, start the game. We don't know who the we know who their best player is, but we here we come coming out here with a with a foul on Malik Williams. Sends him to the free throw line. Converts on one. Let's take converts on the second free throw. Coming out the game kind of slow. So we're trying to get the tempo together on offense. We get it to our big man, Malik Williams, who is just too big down there. There's a step back to Kimball. Misses. And we get the rebound back. Left Williamson wide open. It's going to be cash every time. Coming down the court, trying to look for something to do. Over to the left wing. So we're giving it back to the big man, Malik Williams. And he's just overpowering the defender. Spreading the, right the floor out, looking for our big man again, Malik Williams, who has just now been bullying the competition with an easy layup, too. As you see here, we are pressing in a full court press. Just how Louisville likes to do in real life to try to commit turnovers. Mr. Clutch. He's covered by Fresh. But we give away a foul in an M1 situation. Come back here on defense, trying to regroup. And they're getting way too easy buckets. The Cardinals need a timeout. We are losing 17 to 8. We need to get it together. Hopefully, Coach Chris Mack can get them together. Coming back out of the timeout, we're playing pressure, pressure defense. But we're giving up easy. No, we're not. We're not giving up easy buckets. Big man. Big man with the block. Oh, here's fresh. Looking to create there's something. Giving it to our star player, Jordan Wara. See what he can do with it. Getting a little fancy with the dribbles. There's Almost the run out of bounds. But he doesn't lose the ball. It does a spin dunk. Right Easy spin dunk. Can make a in a game like this. <laughs> Coming out in that pressure you know defense right after the score. Let's see if we can get a turnover. We get a turnover to Dwayne Sutton who dunks the ball. That's too easy. Pressure defense leads to turnovers. Texas Tech coming down court doing Euro steps, and Jordan War says, "Get that out of here." They'll keep possession. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Coming down the court, and they're leaving the best player on the court wide open. We got to cash that for three. We go. We made a couple substitutions. But we still give it to our big man. It's not Malik Williams, but he passes it back out. He passes it to Jordan Wara, who then backs down. We got good ball movement here, just swinging around, looking for an opening. Three seconds left. We need something. And we just chuck something up. And Jordan Wara with an easy bucket. I wouldn't say easy, but it got there. Rams, he's guarded by Johnson. Okay. Texas Tech with a with a lean and J. We got Jordan War. Jordan War playing pressure defense with a fast break layup. And that's easy. That's too easy. Edwards passes to Clark. Oh, here is Edwards. Playing some defense, Louisville. Playing some defense, switching on rotations. But we leave somebody wide open, but he doesn't convert it. Just need a prayer. Last second shot, Williamson. So close. Going into halftime, look at the halftime report. We are 48% from the field goal position. From the field goal, and we lead in rebounds and assists. And it's just about tough. That was a big turnaround from our 17 to 8 start. 
You got Jordan Wara with nine points, three rebounds, and one block. I really think he's going to end up being player of the game only because of his range and how able he's able to score. Now they're utilizing their big man, getting physical, but he misses the layup. And we got a fast break opportunity with Dwayne Sutton with an easy layup. He didn't even contest it. Oh, nice pass by Texas Tech and dunks it. Oh, getting turned over with Malik Williams, and he's too strong. He's taking it coast to coast with a green light layup. Got Lamar Kimball out here working the, working the floor. Almost makes a bad pass to Jordan Wara. Steps back, fires, and you got to step up on him. He's a deadly shooter. Texas Tech trying to lean and fade away, which I don't know how he's able to make this, but that must be his shot. Coming down, Lamar Kimball. Giving this to Malik Williams, who just bullying him. Strong physical center play by Malik Williams with an easy two. Texas Tech looking for an opportunity to score. And it's the guy who always makes their mid-range jump shot. He is money from the mid-range. Nickelberry coming down the court. Finds Malik Williams with a green light layup. Beautiful find. And they go with the fadeaway. We get the rebound back, though. No mid-range this time. We got Jordan Rora bringing it down the court. Gets an and one layup. That's how you do it, boys. Lamar Kimmel with a crossover and a jelly layup. That might have been his first points of the game, but look at that finger roll layup by Lamar Kimball. Beautiful. We just need to play some defense. We leave him wide open, but he makes a bad pass. Shoots with the defender in his face. Rims in and rims out. Get the rebound. Going on a fast break. And we got our big man with a dunk in the paint. Bringing down the court. Williamson finds Wara. And he's leaving me with plenty of space with a green light three. And we've taken an 11-point lead. Player of the game goes to Malik Williams, which I'm actually surprised. 16 points, 8 for 10. Bully in the paint. All we need to do is just D up, boys. Go into a 3-2 zone, but we need to get at the corner. Good defense. Make some air balls. They get the rebound back, though. We just need to tighten up on defense. No comeback here. Same spot, wide open. But he misses again. And that is going to do it for this game against Texas Tech. The season opener, Louisville wins 64 to 55. It was tough at the beginning, but you tighten up on defense, made more turnovers, and start hitting our shots. at all by the opposing fans. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone. So finish the game, Jordan Rora, 21 minutes, 17.6 rebounds, two assists, one block, one steal. He was three for five from the three-point line. And as you see from his highlights and from the game itself, he was balling. And we got Malik Williams, the player of the game, big bully down in the paint, 16 points, four rebounds, one steal. You know, he's eight for 10, and he was just going off. Our big man, we're in the zone. And now we finish this game. You know, next game we'll play Georgia. You know, we, we're going to try, try to keep it strong there. So tune into the episode two. And please like and subscribe to this video if you want more content. If you're liking it or if you want to see me play with another team, leave, leave it in the comment section if you want to see another team because I can play with any other teams. Peace.